and welcome back to Google Slides Essentials. This is our last video. And one of my favorite features of the Google Slides is published to the web. And that is the view that you're seeing right now. If I um, copy and paste this link and share it with someone, they're not going to see the internal pieces of my slide deck. They're not going to see the notes. They're not going to see the slide frames. They're just going to see the presentation. So how do you get to that clean presentation? I'll show you how. The steps to publishing to the web, again, it means that your audience will not, uh, not see anything but the slides presentation itself. You also have the option to have it start automatically, have it loop, and then um, how often you want the slide to stay on the screen. So lots of great features with that. Um, you just click File, Share, and publish to the web. So let's go ahead and publish this to the web. We click on file, share, publish to the web. Now here is where we have all these other options. So number one, we can say, hey, I want it to change every three seconds. I want it to start as soon as it loads and I want it to restart. Or maybe you don't. Sometimes I don't have these checked because I'm just using the link myself to record a video or to present. So of course I don't want it starting on its own. However, if I were putting this up on my screen and all the parents are coming in to open house or I'm hosting a webinar and I start a slide deck uh, 15 minutes early that just says welcome, you know, and has some key key things for people as they come in, reminders and intros, I might do that as well. So there's a lot of reasons why you might want to have it autoplay. Um, but there's also reasons why you might not. So you do have those options. Um, the other thing is once you hit publish, it will ask you if you're sure. <laughs> and then you can share the link out immediately through anywhere, Facebook, Twitter. Um, usually I end up copying and pasting it somewhere. Sometimes it's just directly in the browser. So I'll do that right now so you can see what that looks like. So if somebody gets the link, that's what they're going to get. It is so sweet. And this one is auto playing every three seconds. So that's why I see it going along. All right. Now, if I change my mind and I take this off, I'm going to have to refresh the screen here, but then it won't auto play anymore. Okay. And then if you go down to publish content and settings, you can restrict it to just uh, people in your domain and you can stop publishing it at any point in time. Um, Google Sites makes it so easy for you to embed slides that you don't really need this if you're going to use it with a Google site. But if you're going to use it for any other purpose, publish to the web is your friend and my favorite feature in the Google Slides. It really is. Love it. All right. And that concludes the 10 tips for Google Slides. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about Google Slides. And if you like this video or liked any of the videos in the playlist, please like them. Give me the thumbs up. Reach out to me, allison at edtrekkers.com. If you have any questions or need anything uh, Google related, have a good day.